Hello students, it's me, your instructor Al Trujillo, and I wanted to talk a little bit about a topic within Chapter 3 and help you differentiate between transform faults and fracture zones. And uh, if you've ever noticed along the mid-ocean ridge, it has these areas where it scoots over, it, it uh, it's offset or it's bisected by these fault-like features, which are really transform faults and fracture zones and then it kind of continues on its way. You see the little small ones here. But what I'd like to show you is how this all works. So I want to enlarge this area here. So let's enlarge this area. And uh, if you'd like, you can draw this out. Here's the mid-ocean ridge. Notice how it's cut or bisected by one of these transform fault fracture zone kind of features. And then it continues down here. So, uh, yeah, if you'd like, you can draw this out, and uh, we're going to examine several different segments along this uh, fracture zone transform fault feature and show you how this works. So, first of all, let's draw arrows along the mid ocean ridge. So, we know that's a divergent boundary, so uh, the plates are spreading apart. Seafloor spreading is occurring here, plates are moving apart. And let's examine this segment, segment one over here on the far right. So in this segment uh, that's highlighted here, uh, you can see that uh, it's covering part of this transform fault fracture zone feature. So let's talk about this. What part of, or what direction is this part of this plate moving, to the left or to the right? And if you notice, it has to be consistent with this red arrow here. So this part must be moving to the right. What about this part of this plate, moving to the left or to the right? And uh, that one also being consistent with this red arrow has to be moving to the right as well. Notice these two arrows are moving in the same direction. Let's take a look at this segment here. So segment number two, still along the same feature. What about this part of this plate, moving left or right? And to be consistent with this arrow here must be moving left. And also, what about this part here, moving left or right? needs to be consistent with this arrow from sea floor spreading at the mid-ocean ridge, so this has to be moving to the left as well. So notice these two are moving in the same direction. Now let's take a look at this third segment in between the two parts of the mid-ocean ridge. What about this part of this place here? Moving to the left or moving to the right? And uh, to be consistent with that red arrow, must be moving to the right. This part of this plate here moving left or moving right, that one has to be moving left. So notice here that these two arrows are moving in the opposite direction. And that's really what differentiates a transform fault, which is the middle segment here, uh, from fracture zones, which are the two outside segments. So one and two are fracture zones, and the middle segment here is a transform fault. Now notice it's the same feature. So it's here, a fracture zone here a transform fault, and here a fracture zone. And in terms of which ones are plate boundaries here, well, is number one a plate boundary? Well, no, because it's it's a fracture zone. Uh, it's really the same plate on either side. Uh, number two, is that a plate boundary? The answer to that is, well, no, it's also a fracture zone. It's within a plate. Is number three a plate boundary? And the answer to that is yes, that's a transform fault type plate boundary. So you can see here that uh, that's the only part here that's a plate boundary. Now let me change my pointer and uh, get a felt to pen on here. Let me draw on here where the earthquakes would be. So what about along this segment here? Earthquakes along segment two here? And the answer to that is no, because they're both moving in the same direction, part of the same plate. How about segment three? Earthquakes along this feature? Along the transform fault, the answer to that is yes. I'm going to mark these with X's. So yeah, lots of earthquakes associated here. Why? Because the two plates are moving in opposite direction. What about along this segment, segment one? Earthquakes here? Again, the answer is no. Now there are a few other areas, a couple of other areas, where we get earthquakes. And those tend to be also along the mid-ocean ridge. So I'll put some X's there. So here are where we find earthquakes associated with the divergent plate boundary and seafloor spreading.
So as you can see, where we find earthquakes, it's associated with all the plate boundaries. So that's why we don't have very many earthquakes associated with these fracture zones, because they're moving in the same direction here. Let me change back to my arrow pointer here, and we'll continue on here. So, uh, you know, wherever this uh, mid-ocean ridge zigzags over, that's where we get the transform fault, right, in there. But it's only in between the mid-ocean ridge not these longer extensions. So you might want to think about these uh, fracture zones, here's a diagram from the book, as being old inactive extensions of an active transform fault. And uh, the San Andreas Fault is a transform fault connecting two parts of the mid-ocean ridge, one off of the coast of uh, the Pacific Northwest and the other down in the Gulf of California or Sea of Cortez. So we have actually quite a few of these San Andreas Fault-like transform faults all over the ocean floor, anywhere where the mid-ocean ridge is offset and zigzags over just a little bit. So, All right, so here's a little quiz. Fracture zone or transform fault? What is this one here, this segment here? Fracture zone or transform fault? That's a fracture zone. What about this one here? Fracture zone or transform fault? That's a transform fault. What about this part here? Fracture zone or transform fault? There it is. And there's the diagram in your book that shows that there. So a good way to think about this is that the transform faults, they occur in between the segments of the mid-ocean ridge. So they're offsetting, they're, they're bisecting, they're displacing the mid-ocean ridge, but they only occur there. The fracture zones, on the other hand, they occur, they occur beyond or outside the mid-ocean ridge segments. So that's a good way to think about them. And then lastly, let me just play this. It's uh, my animation uh, that's associated with the textbook. It's on the CD. And uh, it's an enlargement of a part of the mid-ocean ridge. And there you go. You can see that active part. You can see how the plates are moving. It's kind of uh, slow motion, or I guess you could say it's rapid motion for plate plate movement, because that is quite slow normally. But you can see that active transform fault right in the middle, and the fracture zones on the outside. So, all right, and that's all I have for today. Just wanted to help differentiate between fracture zones and transform faults.